First of all, thank you all for joining us today. Could you please introduce yourself and ID now? Yeah, so thanks for having me. Um, my name is Oliver Betayo. I'm the Chief Sales Officer of ID Now here in Munich. Um, we are ID, ID verification providers, so we basically focus on KYC processes, on onboarding processes for, for banks, any kind of fintech, digital banks, and of course also in other industries like mobility and gambling to make sure that that companies who engage with their customers or end users in a digital way in a regulatory compliant, secure, safe, but of course also cost-effective and convenient way. That's ultimately what we stand for and what we're pushing for very hard. Thank you very much for that. Um, so could you please describe the onboarding and uh, KYC, which is know your client process and its importance and relevance to financial institutions? Yeah, so, so so in general, I would say financial institutions, if, if you want to pick on those, especially are under, under huge regulatory uh, pressure from outside, I would say kind of compliance uh, pressure also from inside, all that has to has to be done in a in a safe and, and in fraud preventive way. But at the same time, you also need to provide processes that are very seamless for the end customer. It's, it's, it's like the door of your house, right? It, you need to make sure that the right people enter your house. And then if you cannot onboard the customers, then ultimately you cannot, you cannot do business with them because then a prospect doesn't become a customer. So that's, that's kind of the business challenge, um, especially banks have. I mean, usually you have a huge process on, on, on a marketing cost. You try to, to acquire customers. You, you guide them through usually a an, an digital onboarding process, entering their, their data, but then there comes a point in time where you need to make sure that you identify or you, you check their identity um, before you grant them access to their bank account or whatever kind of product um, the end user is going for. And this is exactly where we come in. We make sure that the potential or the future customer is, is, is checked, his document is checked, that it is a valid um, document in, in the UK, as an example, that the driver's license is really valid. It, it, it's not a fraud document. It's not fake. And that's one thing. And then the second part basically is you want to make sure that the person in front of the camera, let's say, if you do the process digitally um, via your phone um, or even via, via the laptop and the camera there, you want to make sure that the person actually also is the person on the picture of the document. So you, so you compare um, via a selfie or a video stream, the real life person with the picture on the document. And you, of course, also make sure that the person is, is real and alive and is not just holding up um, a, a, a picture or a copy or even just showing a video into that camera of himself. Um, so to prevent that, those kind of simple fraud, fraud attempts. Yeah, that definitely is very crucial for organizations, I believe. <laughs> so the next question is, uh, how can financial institutions move this process from a compliance necessity into a competitive advantage? So ex exactly, that's, that's, that's one of the difficult things that, that you have as a bank. I mean, nobody wants to do those processes, right? The end user doesn't want to do it uh, because it just takes time and it is cumbersome in most of the cases. And the bank doesn't want to do it because... Um, it is just a, a conversion killer, let's say, to, to convert the, the, the potential customer to a true customer. Um, so, so that's why it's very, very critical that, that a bank in, in that case really, really, first of all, they need to understand their own best possible onboarding process all the way, including the KYC process, and then to have the right conversation with, with such a service provider, let, let it be ID now or, or, or some of the other providers in the market. It's very important that that you really discuss the whole process and that you really understand how to implement those KYC kind of processes. And, and then only then you really can implement them in such a, such a seamless way that, that you, at the end of the day, you, you minimize the, the conversion risks um, of, of that particular process. But that also goes as far as you need to think about your backend processes. All that has to be really, truly integrated. Um, and and then many many of the players in the market, but also even the banks, don't don't think in such a broad business oriented way. So it, it's much more than just opening the door, check the ID, and let you through. You really should should think in a broader sense. 
And then you really can get the benefits out of that necessity, um, I would say. Thank you. How has the accelerated digitalization brought about by COVID impacted on compliance? So, so COVID, of course, was, was a huge uh, challenge. Well, it still is a huge challenge um, to, to, to everybody, right? Not, not just in the business life, also in the private life. Um, so everybody suddenly had to change the way you work, the way you consume products, uh, the way you interact with each other. Um, and especially also for the banking industry, who many of them, especially traditional banks, um, already struggled to digitalize their their, their basis or, and their, their business. And, and suddenly now they were forced to digitalize within a weekend, basically, right? If you remember the days when, when the governments kind of imposed those lockdowns. Um, so you can imagine COVID, I, I would say, and based on a team analysis, accelerated digitalization in the financial industry by around five to eight years. Um, so, so, so you can imagine that the impact is huge. And uh, that, of course, for, for companies like ID Now is, is a huge opportunity because we are basically the experts in digitalizing that kind of onboarding process end to end in a remote way, basically no touch, no mask needed. Um, so, so, so that was on the one side a huge challenge to, to drive suddenly to have that kind of conversation. Um, but on the other hand side, it's also a massive opportunity to to really also help and guide uh, the financial industry players in accelerating their, their process on that sense. And that only works if you really have that broader approach and you're not just a one, one trick pony who just can do a KYC, read out a document and then you throw it across the fence to the bank. That's just not good enough anymore. And it definitely will not be good enough in the future. And, and this, this to totally plays into our cards of, of the way how we approach the market with, with our, basically with our KYC platform to, to provide that kind of flexibility. Of course, adding to, to the, all the digitalization acceleration due to the COVID pandemic, um, I mean, that literally opens all the doors for all the fraudsters out there. And especially, especially when it comes down to fraud, uh, to identity theft, this is one of the biggest problems banking institutions nowadays have, and, and already also in the past. The difference is that nowadays we have technology against that uh, to, to prevent most of the forms of identity theft. And this is one of the differentiations of the, of the KYC providers. If you select them that you really need to look into as a, as, as a bank, there are more differences than you might always think. Um, and, and, and then of course, the, the other dimension is once you found a solution on, on how to prevent, of course, identity theft and, and then being compliant, um, many people underestimate the importance of your front end and the process integration into the whole onboarding flow. I mean, there, there is a mega trend already since, since, since years in the market for various products, which is called consumeration, which basically means the consumer, the end user, they are spoiled nowadays. I mean, everybody wants to, everybody thinks every product on earth, respectively what it is, needs to work as seamlessly and as easy as an iPhone. And, and this is basically the challenge for a complex process like, like KYC, and it's also a very important process where you have regulatory, um, I, I would say, uh, frameworks or restrictions. How then do you still make it as seamless and as convenient for an end user? And I think this is, this is one of the key challenges. And this is also one of, one of the big topics in our R&D teams. How can we make it safe, secure, compliant, of course, but at the end of the day, how, how easy is it for the end user to do business with the bank? That, that's the ultimate goal, right? And if that is one of the key processes to do business with a bank and vice versa, then, then this is of course also one of our key focus areas. And this is how you can then differentiate in the market as a bank. Um, how easy is it that um, the bank kind of um, offers and consumes products in a way that, that the end user really wants to consume it because he's so spoiled. Thank you. And so you mentioned ID Now's involvement into the process of uh, implementing KYC and how it has helped. More on that, more details. What role does ID Now play in the KYC process and how can you help build that competitive advantage? Yeah, so 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 we basically start at the very at the very early stages of the process, uh, so to speak. So so we worked very closely with the regulators themselves 
for, for two reasons. One, to, to influence them in a way that, of course, it benefits for us and, and what really also makes sense from a technological perspective, what state of the art. Regulators are usually also not at the forefront of technology development, I would, I would call it politely. Um, but on the other hand side, we also want to make sure that we are the experts in order to define processes and, and, and technological products like ours to make sure that customers like banks, irrespectively of a traditional bank or a, or a hotshot fintech, that they really can execute their KYC, um, I, I would say, requirements in a compliant but still yet customer-focused seamless way. Um, and, and this is exactly also one of our one of our ideas around that, why we came to a platform and not just to a single kind of product, um, because then we can then we can really have a look at the overall onboarding process of such a bank, as an example, and to make sure that, that that we apply the process at the right point in time with the right mechanisms of document and, and biometric checks, uh, but also make sure that the steps before you actually get to the KYC process. That is actually one of the most critical steps banks underestimate. You use you lose over 50% of your customers before your KYC process even starts. Um, and then the other point where the underestimate is once a KYC process is done, so basically that jump off point when you have an opportunity to interact already with your freshly won customer, um, this is also totally critical. What do you do with them there, right? And this is why the back and integration is so important. So, so, so we look beyond the boundaries just of the KYC process. And I think this is ultimately then also the, the differentiator um, of, 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 let's say, IDV providers or identity verification providers in the market. We just don't want to be a one-trick pony as, as, as many others. It's, it's, it's more than KYC. It's, it's a business necessity for the bank. And this is how we want to address it. Thank you very much, Oliver.